This is a level one new. And today I'm going to be fully grinding it to max level 2550. But there's more. Throughout the entire video, I can only use beast type fruit. Speaking of which, there are eight different beast type fruits total of blocks fruits. So we have a lot of fruits to try. Let's get right into it. All right, first things first, I got the noob account right here, Beast Clouds. He's a level one. Let me go ahead and gift him a bunch of different fruits. Look at this beast bundle, 5,999 Robux. Yeah, I'm definitely gifted that to him. Let's get that one to him. Saving a lot of Robux there. Boom. Instantly just gave him Kitsune, Mammoth, and T Rex. And I think that's actually a good place to start for now. You know, while we're all already here let me go ahead and just get them a few other game passes like two times money like two times mastery let's also give them six hours of two times the exp to start with there we go the rest of the beast fruits i'll get along the way for now we're good all right here we are on the main account right here let me go ahead and activate permanent kit soon permanent mammoth and then permanent t-rex all right you know what let's go with uh permanent kit soon first i like this one yeah look at that tail it's about to be fire for grinding all right without any further waste of time let's go ahead and accept the first quest the bandit giver quest and let's see how good this is yeah up all these boys let's finish this quest in one fell swoop. Yes, sir. Look at this. Look at this. There we go. Three out the way. Boom, boom, boom. Four. Last enemy right here. Boom, 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 boom. There we go. We're level 10. All right. We can now make our way over to the jungle. I'm not going to lie. Kitsune will probably get us all the way through first seed before we even get our final 300 ability. So it's about to be a breeze in first seed, man. And we're here. We actually have some stat points to put in too. Let me just put a bunch of melee in just because I do not want to have to worry about dashing for a while. All right. Next quest. We're going to have to fight these little monkeys. <laughs> let, me, let, me, let me stop with the minority jokes. One monkey down. About to be two. Boom, boom, boom. There we go. Oh my gosh, this is so easy to grind with, bro. Oh my gosh, bro. We're just gonna be able to M1 him spam like this for a while. Curse enchantment, boom, M1 and M1 and M1. And last monkey right here. Actually, you know what? Forget the traditional jungle grind. I actually have a different idea. All right, so I got my main account over here real quick. Let me go ahead and teleport myself to the last island, which is Fountain. Check me out here, boys. All right, so I'm gonna go on my main account. I'm gonna lure this NPC real quick. I'm gonna get him low. Let me see how this works. M1 him. There we go. Look how much, look, look, see how much levels we get and mastery we get here, boys. About to get our next ability already. While those levels reel in, I'm going to go ahead and get another NPC low over here. All right, now I can use this again. This method, we are about to get to level 50 in a jiffy. Y'all will see, bro. Y'all will see. Curse enchantment. Boom. And one of them. There we go. We actually got our next ability. Tales of Burning Agony. Let's go ahead and check that out. Boom. Yes, sir. That ability fire, man. Boom. Boom. There we go. We're about to be level 50. There we go. Level 52. We got there way quicker than we would have if we would have just grinded from island to island. Now we can make our way over to the desert, boys. Just like that in less than five minutes. It would have took us probably like closer to 20 if we did it naturally. We already just basically speed ran to the fourth island. Go ahead and accept this quest over here. Desert Adventurer. Feet eight desert bandits. This is about to be a breeze. Let me gather all these boys up. They ain't got nothing on me. I can just add one spam to death. Boom, boom, boom. And one and one and one, one. Oh my gosh. Yo, this fruit is so good for grinding. Is this the new Buddha? I'm actually baffled. Like I never grinded with Kitsu yet like now that i'm seeing this bro sheesh all right last four npcs right here there we go the level 64 let's keep farming on these boys and let's make it quick we're also at 81 mastery we get our next ability to fox fire disruption at mastery 100 so we're about to get our third ability all right last npc right here boom curse enchantment so over there and one of the death and level 92 all right boys my favorite first sea place the frozen village and y'all already know what we about to get over there all right we pulling up to snow island hold on let me get a drink of water real quick stay hydrated boys and we here all right so we gotta go over this cave over here as usual y'all boys already know we go over to the hockey teacher himself Rayleigh dark silver's Rayleigh boom that's my aura right there and last but not least we get flash step and boom there we go press J you know what I'm saying we have observation or observation what am I talking about armament hockey we also have sky jumps now as well as flash step which is basically just instant transmission all right let's accept this next quest from this guy right yo y'all yo, just realized bro this guy looks so mad for what look at him all right though, let's accept this quest defeat seven snow bandits these boys ain't got nothing on me bro usually I struggle at snow island because of the fruit I'm using or like the thing I'm using is pretty bad but i'm not gonna lie look at that nah this is this is like the new buddha bro like i'm saying this is the new buddha man speaking of which we will be using buddha later on the video since buddha is a beast type freeze you see right there tales of burning agony boom and we're level 107 which means we can move on to our first actual official boss of the video since we skipped gorilla king and buggy the yeti boss let's see how he survives the kitsu spam boom there he goes tales of burning agony oh we yo this boy ain't got nothing on me bro kitsu is a problem hold on me hit it with this at one and just like that he's dead already bro right, i don't have any robux on this account so i'm gonna keep server hopping until we find another server with a yeti the presence event will start in 10 minutes head to the zone of the event island oh that's the island over there okay hold on you know what? let's go over there because we could get a good fruit and that'll come in handy later all right let's just quickly pack up this boy and yeti boss down all right now let me go make my way over to that to event island let's see what fruit we end up getting all right 10 minutes later event starting in five four three two one and here we go here we go i need to get a fruit that has one million minimum value so i'm hoping we get lucky 
All right, it just burst open. Let's see, which present should we get? Which present should we get? I like this one. Let's get this one. And, oh my god, we ended up getting a sand fruit. That is just not good. That's just not good. Looks like no one here got any good fruits. This guy also got a chop. All right, so I, I don't feel too bad about it. Let's get back to grinding. All right, back to packing this shit. Yep, M1. And that boy's done. He just got us to level 120, which means we can move over to Marine Fortress. I feel like I should have bought the Fast Boats Game Pass because that is going to save me so much. You know, hold on. Let's just go buy that. Let's just go buy it real quick. Authorizing payment and Robux. Yes, sir. Now we boys try to play in style, you know what I'm saying? We're going to get to that island in no time. As soon as we get the transformation form of kit soon, though, we won't even need a boat. We would have walked on water and it's really fast. Got to go to this NPC right over here. This one's pretty easy. We only stay on this one, I think, to like 135. Also, with kit soon, these boys ain't got nothing on me. Huh? All right, I forgot to record that little bit, but we just got to level 130. So I'm moving on to the next quest, boys. It's actually one of my favorite strats we're about to use right here. So this boss right here, he also has a chance to drop a coat. So that's going to be nice. Y'all about to see why. Let's see how many levels I get. Oh, wait, she got a third ability. I didn't even realize. Okay, let's check that out. Tail beast bomb. Yes, sir. And bro is dead. That was literally like five levels from that one boss. So what the strat now is what we're going to do is we're going to server hop and then we're just going to keep fighting that boy to our like level 220. Tail beast bomb and another vice admiral down. Here we go. And another vice admiral down. All right, I forgot to record that part. We just got to level 200. I'm not going to lie. I'm getting a little bored of this place. We're going to prison already, man. While we edit though, we do have 103 stat points. Let me put like 25 in melee and then we put the, all the rest in blocks for you. Got to do that big boy damage, you feel? Do I hear another Kitsune user? Yo, yo, I will not stand for this. I will be the only Kitsune user here. Boom, 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 boom. There we go. 885 bounty for backing that boy up. All right, Jail Keeper. Let's see what he got for me. I'm sorry. I'm about to steal all your kills, my boy. Okay, these boys are easy. I can kill them with about two M1s. Take this one off your hands, too, bucko. <laughs> nah, I feel bad. I feel bad. <laughs> oh, my God, bro. All right, we have last piece right here. Tales of Burning Agony. And there we go. Level 220. We can go fight the next boss now, the Warden boss. I don't think this boss should pose us any threats. I think he has absolutely no abilities. Let's go ahead and find out for ourselves, though. Yeah, get in that corner, bucko. Get in that corner. Oh, my gosh. Easy little two levels. Now we move on to the main boss of this island, Swan. All right, I wonder how quick I can pack this boy up. Boom, boom. Tail beast bomb. Oh, my gosh, bro. Can't even fight back. He hasn't even hit me a single time. Am I going to kill him without even not hit, get hit a single time? Curse enchantment. And one, one. There we go. Level 325. Now we can make our way over to Magma Village. I know that was a bit of a time skip, but I ain't going to lie. The reason why I stayed here this long was to completely avoid Coliseum. We're already like halfway through first sea, boys. We're making decent progress. Let's see how easy these boys are. Oh, yeah, these boys are breeze. This boy's breeze. Last two right here. Boom. Tail beast bomb. And quest done. Just realized we didn't even need to do the first quest. We could have moved on to the second one. Military spies. I believe these guys are also pretty easy. Hold on. Let me gather all these boys up. I right, got them all gathered up here. Boom, 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 boom. There we go. Tail beast bomb. All right. Last military spy right here. And level 350. We can now move on to the boss. He ain't about to do nothing to me, bucko. Boom, 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 boom. Chris Chapman. Tail beast bomb. I know what he is. Yep. Dodge that. Weave that. Go back to M1 and him. Boom. And GG. Easy. And we're level 425, boys. We're ready to go to the underwater city. Fishman Island Arc, boys. By the way, these are the stats I'm running right now. 1151 in Blossed Fruits and Melee 123 still. Now that we're level 4 and 25, we have 275 levels to go before we make it out of first C, boys. Here we go. Let's go in there. So the reason why I decided to stay on Magma Island so long is so we can completely skip all of these NPCs. You know what I'm saying? Talk about efficiency. Let's see if that boy's here, though. And... Oh, he's here. I'll say less, say less, say less. All right, let's see how hard this boy is. This dude does have two different phases. Once you get him low enough, he'll go back to full health. Yep, you should start right there. This is like it's making much of a difference at all, though, bro. Oh my god. Yo, this is like literally just like having Buddha. They can't even hit me. Oh, by the way, we're at 198 mastery. I didn't even realize. We're about to get our next ability in two mastery, boys. Okay, okay. We almost got this thing fully maxed out. There we go. Let's go ahead and check that thing out. I don't think this one actually helps me that much for grinding. Let's check it out, though. Boom. Yeah, that one doesn't check, help me out much for grinding because it's only a single target ability. We got our final ability and 100 mastery. We're probably not even going to get that till we reach second C, which is kind of crazy. But let's continue fighting more Fishman Lords. Here we go, boys. Another Fishman Lord right here. Tail Beast Bomb. And we're level 482. All right, here we go. Last Fishman Lord. And boom. Level 501. All right, we ready to go to Skypea. Second to last island in first C, boys. We making our way there. All right, we at Skylands. Now we got to make our way to upper Skypea. All the way up here. And then we talk to this NPC right here, Mole. And we should be able to go straight to the Weisper boss. Yep. You see that level requirement? 500. You see, your boy's a genius, bro. Your boy's a genius. We set ourselves up to just be able to fight these bosses. Let's see if this man has anything on me. Boom, 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 boom. Hit him with the Curse Enchantment. And that boy should be packed up. That's actually a breeze. All right. Let me put my stats in more fruits. We do more damage. And let's server hop and do another one. All right. I forgot to record that little last bit, but we're level 5 and 25, which means we can move on to the next island. So let's move on over here. All right. Please select a quest. Let's go with the Royal Squaw. 
let's see how tough these boys are. Okay, okay, okay. So I can't kill these boys in one M1. I kill them in two and a half M1s though. Okay, okay, it's not bad, it's not bad. All right, last NPC right here. Fox by disruption. Level 550 now. Okay, we move on to the next quest. Royal soldiers. Oh, these these boys. I'm starting to feel it this early in, bro. We still have like like 2,000 more levels to go, bro. We almost done with first C. We almost threw first C, man. All right, we just reached 575. We can now go ahead and move up and fight the Thunder God boss, which gives 8 million XP. Oh, that's not bad. That's not bad. Let's go ahead and just pack this dude up. Boom, 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 boom. Make quick work of this boy. Oh my gosh, he's already under half. Boy, has absolutely no... Ch oh, oh, I almost just fell off. I almost just fell off. Boom. Pack him up. Weave, weave, weave. Curse of Chapman. Tails bring agony. And that boy is GG'd. Okay, we got to level 578. Pretty soon, we'll go on to the final island. All right, here we go. About to defeat this Weisper boss. Boom. And we're level 626. I don't know why I decided to fight Weisper. I just, uh, and I just did. I just wanted to fight him to end it off. We can go to Fountain City now. Sheesh. 75 more levels to go before we can get to second C, baby. 75. I believe this one will be actually pretty easy to grind with, especially with Kitsune. Let's find out, though. All right, let's decide this once and for all. Is this going to be an easy grind? Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, wait, this is about to be a breeze. They die with one M1 combo. All right, all right, all right. It's going to be easy. It's going to be easy work. Quick grind montage. Just hit level 675. Got what, like 25 more to go till we hit 700. Almost there, boys. Almost there. And there we go, boys. Level 700. I ain't gonna lie, I'm kind of mad. I forgot to record that clip at the end. But we have 290 Master for Kitsude, so it looks like we're gonna have to get a little bit into second C. But the moment we get 300, we're gonna move on. Now that we reach level 700, though, it's time to go over to the prison because we have to do a little quest line in order to get to second C. Timer down there below shows two hours left to two times EXP. Yo, this might actually be my fastest new pro yet. Level 704 hours is kind of crazy, bro. Don Swan has escaped. Yabby, blah, blah, blah. Yappy McYapster, bro. He needs us to go to the Frozen Village and defeat uh, the Ice Admiral, whatever his name is. All right, here we go. Here we go. We're on the ice village. And now let's just pack this dude up. No time wasted. Boom. I don't want to hear no yapping. I don't want to hear nothing. Let's just pack him up. Boom, 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 boom. There we go. And GG. Well, I lost. It happens to the best of us. I'm assuming you were sent here. Bro, I don't even care, bro. Yappy, Mickey, Yapster. Bro. We got to go talk back to the detective again. <laughs> I ain't got no patience for this right now. I'm too tired for this. Interesting. He thinks Swan is in second C. I have a captain to take you there. He will meet you at Middletown. Good luck. All right, bet. Yes, sir. We about to make our way to second C, boys. I took a little bit of a break. I ain't gonna lie, like a three hour break, but we back on the grind. We're only gonna be with Kit soon for a little bit more because we're about to max out the mastery. Let's go ahead and get to the first quest. All right, here we are. Area one quest giver. B8 Raiders. Yes, sir. This should be easy work. This should be easy work. Let me see how tough these boys are. Yes, sir. Okay, M1 and one and one. Boom. Okay, they take more than one full M1 to kill. Still not too bad, though. Still not too bad. Who the heck is this guy coming up? Who the, who the heck is that? Yo, back up. Back up, bucko. Back up, bucko. Boom, 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 boom. Hold on. Let me get him. Let me get him. Yo, yo. Oh, oh, oh. Damn. I probably should not have engaged. Said in chat, bro, I was helping you. Hey, man. I ain't know, man. I ain't know. That's what we see right here, though. Boom. And there we go. Level 703. Also 291 mastery. I think we're going to be on this quest until level 725. Here we are, boys. 299 mastery. About to get to 300. Maybe we'll get it with this NPC. Here we go. Boom. 300. Yes, sir. All right. Let's go ahead and activate that transformation. But waiting a long time for this, boys. Four hours to be exact. Let's see how this is. Boom, 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 boom. Boom. Oh my gosh. I kill him with one M1 now. I kill him with one M1 combo now. The actual transformation increases M1 damage. Nice. Also last NPC right there. And we just got the level 726. So we can move on to the next quest. Go for a quick move showcase with the transform kit soon. So obviously M1s deal higher damage. Now we have a cursed enchantment, which does something different. As you can see right there, Tales of Burning Agony also does something different. It grabs him now. And then does that and also has some crazy effects here. Like, look at these beautiful effects. Fox Fire Disruption is the same thing, just slightly bigger AoE, I believe. Last but not least, we have Wild Assault, which is also the same thing. That's it for Kit soon. For the next one, I'm gonna go with Mammoth. Yeah, yeah, we're dragging it on. We're saving T-Rex for later. Now, if I remember correctly, Mammoth also requires 300 mass to get the final ability. Yep, right now we only have one ability, Ancient Cutter. I gotta be a little slow and tough from now on. We've been grinding so efficiently, but it's all about to slow down. I could tell. Let's see how it goes. Ancient Cutter. Oh, that's tough. That barely did anything. And that has a decently long cooldown. Okay. And he's dead right here. So it took three whole ancient cutters to kill him. That, that's actually kind of crazy. This is going to be slow. All right, here we go. We should get the next ability now. All right, true prehistoric punt. This should be a little better for grinding. True prehistoric punt. Okay, yeah, okay. That's quite a bit more damage. Those two together. 
Yeah, that's not bad. It's not bad. All right, we're about to get our next ability here. Never mind. I completely missed that ability. Ancient Cutter. There we go. We got Colossal Crusher, our third ability. Let's go ahead and check that thing out. Boom. Basically, the same thing as the first one, except it launches them in a different direction. As we see right here. Boom. And there we go. Level 735. What are you doing, bro? What are you doing, bro? Hold on. Boom. Yes, sir. Something weird has occurred, but you lack the item. What are they talking about? All right, just released level 750. That means we can move on to the first boss of Second City. The grind is actually going treacherous with Mammoth. I got my boy Nutty in here. He about to help us do these grinding, bro. Yeah, that boy is right there. What's good, Nutty? Hey, that avatar is actually egregious. What am I looking at? What What am I looking at, dog? <laughs> What's good, bro? What's good? We on diamond boss now, bro. He said, oh, all right, bet. Say less. Let's get over there. Let's get over there. What I'm assuming is this boy's about to get him low for me. Then I just go and I get the final kill. You know what I'm saying? Boom. Oh, get me with the sideboard V3. That's crazy. Now let's get him now. Let's get him now. Boom. There we go. Two cutters. One more hit. One more hit. One more hit. And that should pack him up. There we go. Let's see how many levels we get. 753. Damn, only three levels for that. And it took us that long to defeat him. We are at 150 mastery right now. We got our next ability at 200 mastery. Although Stampede doesn't really help us much for grinding. So it won't make much of a difference. Go ahead and do a Blockster's Gotcha over here though. We need to get a 1 million value fruit. So let's see if we can do it now. Oh, we got a light fruit. Okay, that's not bad. That's not bad. Oh yeah, we zooming now. Not only getting them low for me. We zooming. I want to have everything. W mastery. W mastery. Boom. Yes, sir. All right, here we go. Last quest right here. Boom. And we're level 776, which means we have a new quest available. All right, let me go to this quest giver right here. We're going to be here for a while. I'm not going to lie on these swan pirates. Let's gather them all up for me. Let me use this. Boom. Got them all there. Use this for good measure. There we go. All six down. All right, last NPC is right over here. Boom. There we go. Level 779. Here we go. 199 mastery and 200. We finally got our third ability. Okay, we can start heating up a little bit. We can start heating up a little bit. Look at this. Zampede. Boom. Yes, sir. I like that. I like that. That has an AoE ability too. So maybe that might actually help us. We're at 207 mastery right now. We don't get our last ability until 300. But I'm not going to lie. When we get the mastery, we get the transformation. That's when things will start getting easier for us. Last NPC right here. Level 8 hundo. All right, boys. We just got to level 850, which means we can now move on to the second second C boss. Let me tell him right here. We fight in Germany now. Let me see if that boy is even over there. Oh, he is here. Let's get it. Damn, did I just kill somebody? That's crazy. All right. Well, Jeremy's already low. He already got him very low, so this won't be much of a fight. This will just be me massacring him. Stampede and GG. All right, got three levels off that. Let's get back to grinding. My friend Nutty just asked me, you gonna do Bartolomeo quest? It gives hella XP. All right, let's do it. Let's do it, bro. We ate level 850 now, which is the minimum required to be able to do it. So why not? Why not? Let's go ahead and make our way over to the cafe. Talk to my boy Bartolomeo over here. Thank God you're here. The Swan Pirates are raiding the towns to prevent any new fighters from entering the tournament. Will you help defeat 50 of them? All right, let's do it. Let's do it, bro. It's like five right here. 15 down right here. It's 20 down right there. 31 down, last mob right here, and boom. Let's see how many levels we get. 858, 859, 860, 861. Damn, 860, damn, it's still going, damn. Damn, we got like 10 levels from that, sheesh. 295 mastery, almost there. 96 mastery, 297, 298, 299, one more mastery. All right, last NPC right here before we get to the final transformation. There we go, and we got 300 mastery, boys. Yes, sir. All right, let's check it out, let's check it out, boys. Let's check it out. Yes, sir. Oh my gosh. We about to be able to farm so easy now. Look at this, boys. Boom, 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 boom. Just spam M1s the entire time. This is about to be a breeze, bro. This is about to be a breeze. I'm about to stay on Mammoth till at least 1,250. So let's go ahead and check out some of the differences now that we got Mammoth transformation. So Ancient Cutter is slightly different now. You guys can see it shoots two out and the second one has further range. True Piece Orc Punt is pretty much the same. It still just lunges at him, launches them up. So is Colossal Crusher. You have dashes. You also have one really high jump. Last but not least, we have Stampede, which does something different now. You guys can see. All right, last Swan Pirate MC right there. And level 925. Now we can go to green zone and skip all those trash NPC quests and move straight to the Fujitora boss. Now let's go ahead and accept the quest over here. Hita boss. Hopefully that boy spawn. I don't want to have to spend no more Robux. Oh, that boy is here. All right, say, let's say, let's say, transform. Boom. All right, let's get it. Let's get it. Let's just pack this boy up. We shouldn't have no trouble beating him. So we have Mammoth. We have that extra AoE. Boom. Get him there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. Let me go back over there. He's almost dead. He's almost dead. Trooper Stork Punt. Ancient Cutter. Boom, boom. And dead. Easy. Got an easy three levels from him. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to keep server hopping and killing him until we can go to the next quest. Final Fujitora down. Okay, never mind. He's not down yet. He's down right now, though. Boom. There he goes. All right. We are level 977. 
We have a new compass available, which shows we can go to the Graveyard Island. All right, here we are, Graveyard Island right here. We also have a ton of stat points. I'm gonna go ahead and just put those in real quick. 147, let's put that all in fruit. We're about to max out our fruit soon, boyos. And one, and one, and one, and one. There we go, another one down. All right, this is a breeze, this is a breeze, bro. Prehistoric punt, and GG, level 979. We're gonna stay here till we're level 1,000, boys. This is gonna be a quick one. A few minutes later. We're at level 999 right now. This will be our last NPC. There we go, level 1002. Also, we got a new title unlock the adventurer. Next time that we can go to is Snow Mountain, and I'm not gonna lie, I know I said earlier I was gonna stay in Mammoth until level 1250. Might hop off Mammoth a little sooner than I anticipated. It's getting a little boring. Definitely yeah, gonna need some more Robux though. Let me launch a $100 package, authorizing payment, and Robux. All right, now that we went and bought that, let's go ahead and buy. You know, I just realized I can't even buy Dragon. Look at this. The King of Fruits is temporarily off sale for enhancement. Stay tuned for his powerful return. So we're gonna need to get a physical Dragon for that. All right, let's go ahead and just buy Leopard then, since that's the only other one we could use. There we go. Permanent Leopard bot. Uh, sorry. Let's see how good this is for grinding. All right, here we are. We're at Snow Village. Village. Uh oh, there's someone grinding here. Y'all see them blizzard effects? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me accept this quest real quick, Snow Trooper. Boom. Hold on, hold on. Relax, Snow Trooper. Relax. I'm trying to accept the quest. All right, let's do this. Finger revolver. D Damn, did bro really just steal my kit? All right, you know what, bro? Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's equip kit soon. Let me activate PvP. What's popping, bro? What's popping? Boom. Yes, sir. Hold on, hold on. That ain't it. That ain't it. Boom. boom, boom, boom. There we go. 4,200 bounty. Easy work. Easy work. Light work. All right, now let's see firsthand how good Leopard is. All right, here we go. Got them all gathered up. Finger revolver. Let's see. Oh, that did pretty decent damage. Is a pretty decent damage. Oh, oh, some of them got around half. Okay, that's not bad. That's not bad. <sighs> you know what, bro? I'm tired of dying. I'm tired of dying like this. Finger revolver, and that's the quest done. Level 1007. Just unlocked our third ability right there. Kind of forgot to record the last bit. We're getting these masteries quick right here. So we have after image assault now. Let's check that thing out. Damn, two, 3,610 damage. Okay, okay. Now I can kill NPCs with just three abilities. This is better than Mammoth was without transformation. The thing about Leopard is once you get that transformation, you can spam them M1s. It's going to be breezy. Next NPC right here. And 200 mastery. We got our next ability, fourth ability, Body Flicker, which is pretty similar to After Image Assault, to be honest. But let's go ahead and check it out. Body Flicker. Boom, you guys can see right there. I actually don't know if that's a multi-target move or if it's a single target move. Let's go ahead and test that out real quick. All right, we've got two NPCs right here, Body Flicker. Oh, it hits both of them. Okay, perfect, perfect. So we're getting mastery pretty quick with uh, Leopard right now, I'm not gonna lie. So I'm pretty sure we'll end up getting that three to mastery to unlock the transformation very soon. A few moments later. There we go, just finished that quest and we did it, boys. Mastery 300. Yes, uh, sir. This needs no introduction for y'all. Y'all already know Leopard. It's about to be a breeze now, boys. It's about to be a breeze. Now, boom, level 1150. We're now going over to hot and cold, though. And the reason why I decided to stay there until level 1150 because I could have left sooner is because I want to avoid all these other trash quests. Go straight toward the boss. Ooh, we have some players out here. Ooh, interesting. All right, let's go. Boom, 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 boom. She hold on, hold on. Pack that dude up. Spam with the M1s. Boom, finger revolver. Easy 5,000 bounty. I'll take it. I'll take it. All right, now let's go ahead and get this quest line. Smoke Admiral. You see that right there? 1,150? That's that's why we needed to get to that level. And yes, sir. All righty. It's about to be a breeze. All right. Boom, 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 boom. Sit him with these. And yes, sir, finger revolver. Oh, yeah. That boy's already under half. That boy's already under half. Oh, my God. Yo, Smoke Admiral, fight back. Fight back, bro. Fight back. Fight back. Boom. And bro is dead. That, that took us literally seconds. To, oh, this is a lot more fun than I thought it'd be, man. It started off a little rough with just the finger revolver, but it quickly showed it wasn't bad for grind. Let's keep server hopping and fighting more smoke admirals. So the smoke admiral. Boom. There we go. 1175. Is it Kitsune user out here? All right, hold on. Let me chill. Let me chill. He's probably about to attack me. Let me let me hold that and dip. Yeah, y'all saw him run towards me. We did right in time, bro. Here we go. Another smoke admiral. Boom. There we go. And we're level 1207. Almost out of here. Just have a little more to go. One more smoke admiral. Finger revolver. Boom. There we go, boy. Boys, level 1,251. Finally able to move on to the next island, boys. The cursed ship. Almost through second C, boys. Almost through second C. 250 more levels to go. Then we can go to third C, baby. Third C. All right, here we are. I hate grinding at this place, to be honest, because it's always like really dark. Like, look at this. You can barely even see anything. But it is what it is. We got 60 stat points. Let me put some in melee. We get some extra energy there. I'll accept this quest. But actually, before we start grinding, we got to get a new fruit. We've been on Leopard for quite a while, like probably like two or three hours. I think it's time to switch to a different beast type fruit. Except, except on both ends. I'm about to get my dragon, boy. I was about to get my dragon. Now, for grinding, it's going to slow us down a lot, but, you know, I'm saying it'll be worth it. And it's another beast fruit, so we have to do it. There we go, right there. Yes, sir. Oof, this 
this one requires 350 masters to get the transformation move. That is egregious. That is crazy. That's going to take a long time to grind out. But my boy Nutty did just join the server again. So we might have some help, bro. I might have some help. That was not planned. I promise you. That man just joined on his own accord. He asked me in chat, what fruit you on at the moment? On dragon. Just ate it. Will need help. <laughs> okay. He's gathering them all up and getting them low for me. Say less. Say less. All right. You get that one low for me. Boom. There we go. We'll get our flight very soon. Our flight is 75 mastery. That's actually kind of crazy how far spread out the dragon abilities are. You don't even get your flight till 75 mastery. That's insane. All right, there we go. We got dragon flight. You know, pretty obvious what that is. Just a just a flight. You know what I'm saying? Nothing too crazy about it. First quest out the way. We're level 1,254. This is actually going by quite quick with my boy. We're already at 135 mastery. We'll get draconic claw pretty quick. Last piece right here. And there we go. We just got our next ability, boys. You see that new skill of Babel? We got draconic claw. So basically what you do is you broly grab these guys by the neck and then you slam them down I'll probably just stick to heat wave beam and then the fire shower when we get it this man nutty is a godsend bro making this go so quick bro we're now at 249 in mastery boys we're gonna get our next ability probably within these next few npcs there we go right there 250 all right let's check it out fire shower yes sir my favorite dragon ability man now we only have one more left to unlock and that's the transformation we believe this should be my last npc there we go 1350 but well, let me go ahead and tell my friends telling me to ice castle all right here we go here we go next npc is over here let's get it let's get it he's in a chat almost there bro hey man hey man we only level 1350 still got a long more ways to go man long ways to go here we go first quest finished here level 1352 and 1353 I'm starting to feel it again boys i'm starting to get it i'm starting to lose my energy i gotta make it to third seat before i go to sleep all right boys so what we've done right here is we went back to the cursed ship because cursed captain just spawned and we're gonna try to get the ghoul rates for this account why i don't know it's something else to do other than grind i guess but let's go ahead and just try to do it it does have a lot of health so i gotta be careful let me just let nutty nutty do the thing all right there he goes boom fire shower yes sir 1000 health okay 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 cooking there we go. Ah, uh, I didn't get the thing I needed. Oh, well. That was our one chance to get ghoul and it didn't work. More importantly, though, we're at 346 mastery. So we'll be off a of dragon soon, boys. We'll be off. I'm at that point, man. I'm at that point where things just are not starting to make sense. My brain ain't braining. Draconic Claw. Draconic Claw. That was Heat Wave Beam. 349 mastery. We're so close. Kill him with the dragon shower. And yes, sir. Final skill available. No time wasted. Let's do it. Sheesh. Bro, that never gets old doing that. Never gets old. I'm Obviously, since we have a transformation, some of our moves have changed. Heatwave Beam did not change. It's the same. It just has longer range now. Draconic Claw did change, though. It's a completely new ability, which is a long-ranged one. And then the last new ability we have is Fire Shower. Probably one of the most destructive skills in the game. Check it out, bro. Just check it out. Yes, sir. Look at that. Look at that. That is insane. This doesn't really help us out for grinding that much because you need to have full fury meter. And another thing is, anytime you use moves, your fury meter goes down. So it's a little tough, but dope nonetheless and it's a beast root so we needed to get all the mastery now i can finally switch off of dragon now the thing is which one will i go to phoenix or falcon you know what, man i'm just gonna go ahead and just buy falcon just because that'll be really easy to uh grind up first and then we'll go to phoenix go ahead activate plumage because we need that to be able to use the abilities all right wind burst oh my god that is toxic bro my ability doesn't even kill them and they're already low can't believe i just reset a perfectly good dragon for falcon like that was a physical dragon i don't have it perm you can't buy it perm right now so it's gone forever bro it's gone <laughs> Let's just keep going. No, let's just keep going. Let's keep it rolling. Let's keep it rolling. Wind burst. Wind burst again. And we got our next ability, Bone Crusher, which is absolutely dog water. Like, that does no damage, bro. Oh, my God. Well, I only have to be on this thing for a little while longer. Okay. Wind burst. There we go. I got Soaring Talon. Let's check this ability out. Oh, that was very anticlimactic. Well, now that I did that, uh, we can get off of Dookie Dogwater Falcon. And now I guess the only other one that makes sense for me to go to is Phoenix. Boom, there we go. Permanent Phoenix activated. Let's see, though. Let's see, though. Cannon. Okay, that's not too bad. We're already at 74 mastery. This is hybrid flight. We got our next ability at 90 mastery with regeneration flames. Okay. We'll also be leaving this place soon. Right now, we're at level 1406. We'll be leaving this place at around 1425. We just got our next ability, though. Let's check it out. Does that deal damage? No, it does not. Okay, it just only heals. All right, so that helps me in no way whatsoever right, i think i'm about to get my next ability here there we go 162 we unlocked fast kick let me go ahead and try this out on this npc over here fast kick boom let's see one more time 
Yeah, that was not no fast kick. The damage is also worse than the first ability. All right, here we go. I'm about to get off this boring uh, island. Yes, sir. Level 1427. Now I'm going to make our way over to the Forgotten Islands, boys. Ooh. A little bit more to go before we get the third seat. The final stretch. You see soldiers right here. Pretty easy angle line. Cannon. And there we go. 1432. After I'm done with this quest, we upgrade into the next set of NPCs. But more importantly, we just reached 250 mastery, which means we got this now, boys. You know what I'm saying? Full transformation. Okay, Ken looks pretty much the same. I think it just has longer range. What about fast kick? Okay, so everything is pretty much the same. This helps not at all for grinding whatsoever. For now, I'm just going to go ahead and switch back to Kitsune just to finish up the rest of second C. Then when we hit third C, we'll go use T-Rex and Buddha. But for now, let's speed this up and make our way to third C, baby. Yes, sir. This has been a crazy grind, man. I'm not even going to lie to you. Here we go. Last NPC of second C right here. And G... Gee. All right, boys, before we can go to third C, we do have to do a whole quest line to get there. In case y'all forgot, earlier we started a Bartolomeo quest, but we didn't complete and continue it, so we have to start there. All right, let me talk to Bartolomeo. So we just got to go find and defeat Jeremy, and then after that, we got to go free the prisoners. Jeremy, I ain't gonna lie, you about to get the beating of a lifetime, my boy. Boom, 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 tail beast bomb. Oh, it's gonna be a long day for you, Jeremy. It's gonna be a long day for you, my boy. Boom, 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 boom. Chris Enchantment, Wall of Salt. Sheesh, that boy hasn't even hit me a single time. I ain't gonna lie. That is, <laughs> that is pitiful. Oh, look, we got the black spiky coat too. Tournament is back to normal now. Go free the imprisoned gladiators who are jailed beneath the stadium. Okay, so we just go back and then you guys just follow the code that I'm about to do. All right, so you got this right here. Then the next sign is, I believe it's this one. Then the next one is this one. Then it's like some weird S thing. Then it's like some weird M thing right here, some M symbol. Then we have F. N, and last but not least, B. Please, sir, take this helmet as a token of our appreciation. All right, so now let me free them and give us a warrior's helmet. Next step we have to do is we have to pull this fruit out and give it to this guy named Trevor. All right, here we go. Let's give it to him. This is an excellent fruit. You may now speak the swan. All right, so now what we got to do is we got to go in a little area down here, and we about to pack up the swan boss. You know what I'm saying? This boss can be a little bit difficult if you don't have a good fruit, as you guys can see. Oh, 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 damn, damn, damn. He gave me low. No worries, though. No worries, though. I have kit soon. No way I'm about to die. No way I'm about to die. Hold on, hold on. Let me weep. Yeah, yeah, this boss is difficult. I'm gonna be honest. But we have to go defeat him before we can make it our way to third C. Let's do it, let's do it. And one and one and one, boom, 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 boom. All right, here we go. Curse enchantment, boom, wild assault, and GG. Now we gotta go back to this little under area right here. And instead of going through this little cold stuff, you go right and you talk to this guy right here, King Redhead. Yes, sir. And now the epic battle begins. We have to face off the creator of the game, Indra. Yeah, all right, let's go ahead and back him up. Boom, 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 boom. Should be easy work, you know what I'm saying? Look at that, look at that, look at that, bro, can't even fight back, bro, can't even fight back. Yes, sir. Pack him up, pack him up, pack him up. Let's go Kitsune form. Let's get him, let's get him, let's get him. Boom, 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 grab him up, slam him down. There we go. Now we have a little cool little cutscene, you know what I'm saying? Look at this. Lost his sword. Now Rip Ranger's about to hit him with a crazy tie. Look at that. It's like some Dragon Ball, bro. Rest in peace, Redhead, man. Rest in peace, Redhead. Damn. Every time I see that, uh... <laughs> All right, though, now that we got that out the way, you see this text, talk to Mr. Captain at Green Zone. Here we go, boys. Here we go, Mr. Captain. We're about to make our way to the final C of this grind. Yes, sir. Port Town in third C. Now that we're finally in third C, boys, I've been keeping y'all waiting this entire video. We can move on to the newly released mythical fruit, the T-Rex. All righty. You see, we got a little tail right there. We also have a bunch of different moves. This one requires 300 mastery to get the final ability as well. But with that out the way, let's go ahead and get our first quest. First quest to third C. I honestly think T-Rex should be pretty good because we have M1s you guys see right here. Boom, 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 boom. So we should have constant M1 damage. Oh yeah, that's nice. I don't think these M1s are as good as the uh, Kitsune ones, but these are cool. All right, we got our second ability, Predatory Screech. Well, first off, let's get the first ability, Tail Swipe. So long, uh, long range ability. Second ability, Predatory Screech. Pulls them in and then slams them back out. I feel like that's going to be pretty good for farming NPCs. Hold on, let's gather a bunch of them. All right, got them all right here. Predatory Screech. Oh, yes, sir. That's fire. That's fire. Here we go. Final NPC here. There we go. We also unlocked our third ability. Damn, this is going quick. Third move, Hunter's Rage. Let's go ahead and check that out real quick. Hunter's Rage. 
Oh yeah, oh yeah, another long range AOE ability. I'll take that, I'll take that. Next quest down, and we're level 15, 14. I ain't gonna lie, boys, I'm gonna be here for a hot minute grinding at this place. We're gonna make this quick for y'all. A few minutes later. All right, forgot to record that little bit, but we got our next ability, Gigantic Leap. I think this is gonna help us a little bit with the grinding. Let me go test. Let's, go, let's grab these two NPCs right here. Gigantic Leap. Oh yeah, it's fire. All right, we did that NPC right there. Now we're level 15, 25, and we just got the 300 Mastery, boys. All right, all right, let's showcase it, boys. Let's showcase it, the final transformation. We've got our Fury Meter full, and we've got Reptilian scales yes sir <laughs> look at you he said hey yes sir okay 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 we got a cool little t-rex form now we have m1s except now the m1s have roars to it so we're gonna be able to grind way more efficiently our moves have also changed a little bit so let's go do a showcase all right so first off we have tail swipe which does something different now also you guys can see that little t-rex icon above his head that is a damage over time meter if i go further away from it it deals damage over time hunter's rage does do something different it grabs him now you see what I'm saying? I chomp him with my jaws and slam him down. And last but not least, we have Gigantic Leap, which is improved. Now it's like a, like a meteor. But let's keep going, boys. Let's keep going. All right, here we go. Last NPC right here. This is a big ad time skip. You guys can see I'm level 1,674. But now we are 1,676. We're ready to go to the next island, the Hydra Island. We made really great progress, but we still got like 900 more levels to go before we reach max level. So still got a lot to go, boys. Still got a lot to go. Of course, we're going to be farming is the Island Empress. Let's just make quick work of her. Y'all have seen me do bosses all video. You know what I'm saying? It's about to be a long video. I ain't gonna lie. In fact, hold on. Let me just do the wall strap, bro. So I don't gotta worry about nothing. She ain't got nothing on me, boys. She ain't got nothing on me. We're about to make quick work of her. Here we go. And she's done. All right. Now we just gotta keep farming her over and over and over again. And another boa down. Also, we're now level 1700. So we can go over to the great tree. But yeah, we didn't stay on this island very long. Let's go see what quest we're gonna be on. Green Commodore. Okay. Okay. Perfect. But before we do that, though, there is only one beast fruit left we have yet to use. We use Falcon phoenix mammoth t-rex dragon leopard and kitsune the one we haven't used is buddha and i ain't gonna lie i've been saving this one for the end of the video because this <laughs> is about to save me so much time now, since we're gonna be using buddha i also do have to reset my stats we're gonna be using a sword main stat now there we go boys there we go we got the buddha it's about to be a breeze now you know what i'm saying all right last npc right here boom 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 there we go let's see how many levels we get okay we got three levels from that going easy breezy now boys this is easy as hell all right here we go last npc there and level 1800 you can see now in our compass we can move over to turtle adventure quest otherwise floating turtle island let me go tell my boy in chat teleport to floating turtle this is the quest we're gonna be on right here okay okay only like 700 more levels to go well we got this we got this boys all right last fisherman captain here there we go 1803 gonna stay over here for a very long time like i'm talking like till 1975 long fox fire disruption and level 1900 all right here we go boom and we're level 1975 finally we can go to the next island which is haunted castle you're almost at the finish line boys a little bit more to go here we are haunted castle first quest we're gonna be on these skeletons which are the ones i hate i ain't gonna lie although this time i'm using kit soon so it might actually not be that bad let me go ahead and test all right let's see how strong these boys are They're actually not that strong okay hold on two m1 combos kill them not bad not bad last skeleton right here tails will bring agony boom and there we go all right level 1977 i think we're gonna leave this place at 2100 so it's gonna be a little bit we're now on peanut island farming on these peanut scouts right now level 2101 let's go ahead and go over to the next island now you know what boys you know what time i think it is time for a training montage And level 2,500. Ooh, wee, that was a good montage. We only 49 levels away till max, baby. 49. We have 47 minutes left of two times the XP. Goal is to get to max before that runs out because I am tired of spending Robux. Eight Sunkissed Warriors. Got my boy Rip Mariah helping me here just to make this quicker. Last time you see here. And level 2,503. There we go. Level 2,526. Now we go on this side. Gotta defeat eight Isle Champions. 25 more levels to go, boys. We still have 31 minutes on our two times the XP timer. I think we can do this. I think we can do this. Last time you see here. 
Boom. First quest finished. Level 2528. Just a little bit more to go, boys. All the hard work is about to come to an end. Here we go, boys. Final NPC of the final quest. Gigantic leap. And there we go. 2550. Oh my gosh. Sheesh. There you have it, boys. Noob to match with every beast fruit in the game. Let me know if y'all enjoyed this. Shout out to all the people that helped me along the way. And with that, I'm about to sleep real good tonight.